Hello everybody. It's Thursday, not Tuesday. I know. Sorry about not getting a video out on Tuesday. Life was a little overwhelming. Um, and so I thought, why not just put one out on Thursday? I know next week's going to be a busy week for most everybody with it being Christmas week. So today I thought I would go ahead and share um, something that was given to me in 1987. Um, so that was a while ago. <laughs> I used to write a lot of music. For those of you who are new, I want to welcome you. Uh, let me give you a little backstory. Um, I used to write a lot of music back in the 80s uh, and even into the 90s. And um, it was mostly just, you know, I played with a couple of bands, Christian Christian bands, and it was uh, a lot of fun, but then I stopped. It just stopped. A lot of things happened in my life, and I stopped writing. I stopped playing my guitar. I even stopped singing for a while, a couple of years. That's a long time when you're used to singing your whole entire life. As mom said, when you started talking, you started singing. So anyway, um, with that said, um, today I am again working on re-upping this singing stuff that I do. <laughs> A part of my hidden talent challenge, I am um, unburying this, I guess. Anyway... I have a song here that was really given to me. I didn't write it. I mean, by that, I mean um, it wasn't one of those things that took me weeks or days or months or whatever to write. This song wrote itself. It was 15 minutes from the time I sat down with the pencil and paper and my guitar to the time when I had the song. I know it happens sometimes to songwriters, um, but this was something I had desired to do for a long time, and I had been asking God to give me a Christmas song, and not not a Jingle Bells kind of song, but one that would have some meat to it. I like songs that have emotional meat to them. Most of us do. Ones that would, would touch people. Uh, so anyway, I'm hoping that this will be a blessing to you, and I give it to you in a heart of joy. Um, and even though it is not perfect, I decided I'm going to do it acapella because my fingers are not working very well. I have a, a finger that is injured and I can't really play, but I wanted to get this song to you uh, before Christmas got any closer because this has to do with the time leading up to Christmas Day. And it is called Take Some Time. And I have a very dry throat, so please forgive me. I think this is about the seventh time I've tried this. Anyway, um, here we go. And I got the words because I might, I might miss some. Um, and I just want to preface this too with, um, you know, we give gifts and they're never perfect. <laughs> really, this world is imperfect. Uh, they might be really good gifts, but they're not really perfect gifts. Um, it's the heart and intention the gift is given with that's really important. And so uh, just know that I, that I give this with, a, with the intention of blessing you, um, even though it helps me. Blessing you is my ulterior motive, really. <laughs> so anyhow, this is Take Some Time. It was written in November of 1987. That was a while ago. Yep. And I wish I had somebody to play guitar on this one because I could I could do it justice if, if I did. Uh, I might have to get a friend on that. Anyway, I'm kind of Gabby here. I need to quit and just sing. The holiday season is upon us once again with all of its holiday cheer. Brightly wrapped packages lights on our houses gathering with those we love so dear 
There's all of the shopping and all the decorating to create such a special atmosphere. But sometimes in the hustle and all of the tinsel, it seems that we've forgotten him. So take some time to center upon him. The Son of God, the King, the Savior of all men. The child born that night in little Bethlehem. Take some time, take some time. For some folks, it's the turkey or that ham with the trimmings. For others, it's the cookies and the fudge. For some, it's old St. Nicholas sliding down the chimney or hunting down a Christmas tree to cut. So many traditions and special memories are wrapped up in this season of love. But sometimes in their making, we wind up forsaking the one we're celebrating. So take some time to center upon him. The Son of God, the King, the Savior of all men. The child born that night in little Bethlehem. Take some time, take some time. So take some time to center upon him. The Son of God, the King, the Savior of all men. The child born that night in little Bethlehem. Take some time, take some time just for him. So I hope that blessed you. I hope that you will find those moments when you can take the time to remember Jesus born in the manger, the Savior of all men, the one prophesied all throughout the Old Testament, who would come to forgive us of our sins, that we could live eternally with him in heaven. So anyhow, I wish you all a very Merry Christmas. And... Um, Thank you so much for spending this time with me. And please subscribe if you would like, and I hope you will. Um, this community means a lot to me. Y'all mean a lot to me. Whew, I almost got through it, didn't I? <laughs> for those of you who are new that don't know, my husband passed away in August. So the tears come from a true place. But even aside from that, y'all are very special to me. And I so appreciate each and every one of you. Feel free to make a comment. Uh, if you have questions, if you want to know about me, um, about what happened with my husband, I'd suggest you go back and look at the video about saying goodbye to him. Um, and check out the other videos too. There's a lot, there's a beautiful garden that he built for me that I shared here. And uh, yeah pretty cool. I am blessed. <laughs> I'm blessed by you and blessed by the memory of my husband. I'm blessed by knowing the Lord Jesus Christ as my Savior. So may you have a wonderful, happy Christmas and um, God bless you, each and every one. Bye from, from Tinker's Paradise.